a few days on from the last video. Time to sort out the last bit, which is charging. And as you can tell from the raindrops you can actually see on camera, yet again, it's raining. It wasn't five minutes ago when I came out here, but now it is. Before I have to run inside then, I've already learned some stuff. So multimeter onto the um, canvas connections into the modules in here, it's all covered up at the moment. Um, found that I had 120 ohms, so it's um, clearly uh, sort of connected up. But um, when I um, power up the modules with the BMS and stick savvy can on it, I get absolutely nothing. Um, but if I stick the same savvy can onto the charger and plug that in, oh, I can't open the door. <laughs> there we go. We get lots of traffic. So. Hmm, what does that mean? I suspect it means that the battery box has to come out, that I've put the two blue plugs on the um, Model 2 or the version 2 modules back to front um, and therefore the connector out of the master module is not giving me anything. So yeah, joy of joys, the battery box has got to be opened up. Whether or not I need to, need to disconnect all the cooling stuff we shall see. Fast forward a couple of days, it's not raining and it's nearly all apart again. Wasted some coolant and some um, cable ties, but other than that, only time. So nearly there, nearly ready to lift the uh, top of the box off and then with a bit of luck, just swap those cable ends over, check the pinouts, make sure they're not the same and I'm just not just doing something completely wrong. Just the awkward bit to go now, which is undoing the bolts, which you can't really see down there on the back of the battery box. Oh yeah, since I was taking it all apart, I thought I'd upgrade the uh, connector shrouds. So this is a two-piece one, which I won't be able to separate now with my uh, a broken two-piece one. No, <laughs> I won't be able to separate the one hand now. But imagine it's got a piece like that, but slightly deeper with some slots in it. And then this cover piece slides over the top and the 20 mil um, shroud locks in there. There's a little um, locking rim in there, so it locks in, so that should all be quite nice. So that will sit there, connecting it to the batteries. And there's another one which I've actually remembered to put the O-ring on, which again is printed in two pieces. And it's printed with this insert here separately to this piece. And this connects to the 16mm um, um, shroud, or cable shroud. And that will sit on this side for the charging cables. It sits like that, routes the shroud around the uh, the exit pipe on the charger um, for um, for the cooler door actually, and she pipe for the cooler can't reach around it goes. Anyway, much nicer, much more waterproof. Uh, and I'll share the designs for these, the STLs for these, um, in the uh, notes at the bottom of the video. I don't know if you're getting this on camera, but that's some pretty ominous skies up there. It is pretty dark, so I have a limited amount of time to get this dry again. So here's my other blue connector. Can't do this with one hand, so I'm going to pop the cover off and see whether the pinout is the same as this one. If it is, well, there's something else wrong. Well, cleverer people than me will have noticed something already. These two are different sizes and these connectors match up with these plugs, those pins. So this was all in the right way round. Oh, oh, here comes the rain. Yeah, these are all in the right round. So that wasn't the problem and I need to pack up very swiftly before all this gets wet. Had to do some uh, call it real-time modifications to get these fit to fit hence the drill bit um, but pretty happy with those they're a hell of a lot better than what was on before even another screw in this one um, but yeah much more watertight and look pretty sharp so that's pretty cool I've sort of lost track of what I've told you <laughs> 
but this is a lesson to always check the obvious stuff first. So I've had all of this apart. Well, not all of it. The whole front end apart. Put it all back together again because it turned out that I thought I'd connected everything wrong in here. I hadn't. It was obviously fine. Um, put it all back together. It's all nice and neat and tidy again with my new 3D printed bits. Lovely. What I should have done was check continuity. <laughs> Somehow, something appears to have gone wrong inside this cable or inside this cable, which is basically the same cable between the BMS and the battery box. And I've got no continuity from the BMS to my little adapter, which goes into the BMW connector. So something has gone wrong along the way and I'm pretty sure actually that it's gone wrong between here and here, not between there and there inside the battery box. Because if I try and check continuity between here and these pins, I get a nice beep for can low and absolutely nothing for can high. And of course this is all, you know, neat and tidy. So, investigation required. There we go, after a bit of tinkering with the connections on this connector, um, I went from having no connection to Can H to having a short between Can H and Can L to having working connections. Let's hope when I put it all back together finally it continues to work because if you now look at the uh, debug on here, it is picking up all 96 cells. So we can reassemble all of this and then we can plug it in and see if it charges, but we do appear to be at least getting canvas now. Well, we're charging, but there is still a dodgy connection in here somewhere. It only works when I take the ceiling rubber out and shove the connector right in. Not ideal. Uh, trying to decide what to do about it, really. Do I rebuild this connector from scratch and then chop the wires and wire new ones in that's creating a new failure point do i try to strip the connector apart and redo with the existing wires and everything's getting a bit fragile in there and do i do something completely different don't know Now that it's all charged up, I can get on some cosmetics. I'm putting in a layer of fiberglass around the bottom of the headlight buckets so that I can cut the polyurethane adhesive back um, and uh, fill it in, smooth it all out. It's obviously very hard doing this up in the air. Um, and I know this looks like there's a lot of air in there, there's actually not very much. Um, the white is actually mostly the polyurethane adhesive you can see. Um, there are a few bits where it's not quite as flat as I'd like it to be, but another layer of uh, uh, another layer of um, resin will tidy it all up a little bit. It doesn't have to be super strong; it's already bonded in with the uh, with the glue. Um, this will just seal it all nicely. Last thing for this little video: laptop out. Time for a firmware upgrade because I still haven't put well anything like recent firmware on here. Um, and should see a bit of a performance boost. So I'm going for the 5.32 firmware. Uh, I've got my parameters, which I've now stuck on the, wherever it's gone. I've put the parameters on the wiki. I think these are right for the out under rear, which you need on the new firmware. So, I'll stick in an update, make some tweaks to the parameters and see what happens. Pretty good, um, 5.32 firmware. Um, I've put all the settings on the um, forum, Open Inverter forum, um, for the LD and LQ and everything else like that. Although originally found by uh, Ben, FF man, not by me. And there were some from Pete as well, but I went with Ben's ones in the end. Just, well. I couldn't bother doing the conversion from UH to MH, to be honest. <laughs> and they seem to work perfectly fine. Um, no great power increases that I can detect. 
Um, I thought it might be a bit of a, a leap, um, but it seems to work really well. Just did a little run down 40 limits. Got another run to do a child drop off later on, so I'll um, give it another little run out for that. But yeah, so that has to do for this video, and it's probably going to be a couple of weeks at least until the next one, to be honest. Um, I'm about to get swamped with work. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe and all that. I will be back both with more updates on this car um, and uh, some more DIY EV chat as well. That's it. Bye bye.